Hello friends, I am Naveen from WP Help Pad. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add categories to your post. You will also learn how to add subcategories and change the default category on categorize that is automatically applied to your post. Before we dive into the actual process, let's understand what are categories in WordPress and why it is important. Categories is one of the default taxonomies in WordPress. In simple words, categories are the most general method of grouping your blog post into different sections. For example, a fashion blog website might have categories like fashion, trends, lifestyle and so on. Similarly, a travel blog website will have categories like travel, city guides, travel tips and so on. You should always add relevant categories to your posts. Categories allow your visitors to quickly find the articles related to specific topics. Now let's learn how you can easily add categories to your post. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my future videos. Now let's go to the dashboard. There are two ways you can add categories to your post. First method is from categories which is located on the post and the second method is from categories tab located on the right of the post editor. Now let's explore both of these methods. First of all, let's explore the categories method. So go to post and click on categories. As you can see here, here is the default category which is on categorize and here you can see the slog and the count which is the total number of posts that has been assigned the category on categorize. On the right hand side, you find the field to add the categories. So here you can add the category name this log you can also specify the parent category you can also add the description and in this theme i get an option to add the image for this category depending upon the theme that you are using you may not find this option so now let's go ahead and add some categories so let's create a category fashion give it a slog fashion and for the description i'll just skip this part and click on add new category Similarly, let's create some more categories. And in case if you don't add the slog, it will automatically take the name. So here you can see, I'll just add the new category. And as you can see here, it automatically adds the slog based on the name that I have added. I have added four categories here. Now, in order to assign this category to the post, go to post and click on all posts. And here you can see the post that you have published. In order to assign a category, simply click on edit. And go to categories tab. And here you will see the list of categories that you have created so let's assign the category fashion and let's untick this option and click on update now if you view this post you can see this post has been assigned the category fashion you can also assign more than two categories so let's assign three categories and let's refresh here and as you can see here it shows the categories that we have added. You can assign as many categories you want to your post. However, it is recommended to have maximum two to three categories per post. If you remember in the beginning of the tutorial, I talked about the second method to add categories to the post, which is from this categories tab. So if you don't find the category in the list and you want to add a new category, for this post then you can simply click on add new category and here you can add the category name so let's create a new category fashion week and on the parent category you can select the parent category of this category so in this case you can link fashion for this fashion week category so what it does is it will make fashion category subcategory of fashion the parent category is optional if you don't want to assign any parent category to the category you can just keep this option and click on add new category in this case i want to 
assign this to fashion category so let's select this option and click on add new category once you assign the category simply click on update and then let's preview the post here and as you can see here we can see the four categories that we have added to the post if you have noticed that when you add categories from this categories tab you don't get an option to specify the slot in that case you have to go to categories in order to edit the slot so let's do that so i can simply exit the full screen mode here go to categories and from here i can simply click on edit and here i can add the slog whatever i want for this category now let's go back if you want to quickly add categories to your post you don't have to go to edit to each of your post and then add the categories here is a quick option called quick edit and from here you can see the list of categories that you have created and you can assign the categories to this post so let's assign some categories to some of the post simply select the categories you want to add and click on update and as you can see here the category travel and trends has been assigned to this post i forgot to unassign the on categorize so let's uncheck this option and click on update repeat the process once again don't forget to uncheck this on categorize option and in this way you can edit all of your post if you have noticed the default post that you have created are automatically assigned on categorize however you can change this on categorize category for your post and select the desired category that you want to assign to your post whenever you create them to do so go to settings and go to writing and from here you can select the option so here is the option for default post category and when you click here you can see the list of categories that you have created so in this case you can select whatever categories you want to assign to your post when you create them you can select the category fashion and click on save changes and when you go to posts all posts and then whenever you create a new post so let's create one new post here you can add the title of your post so let's add a random title and here you can add the content for your post i've also made an in-depth tutorial on how to create posts and pages in the new gutenberg editor i've also covered all the essential blocks that you might use while creating a post here I'll just paste some dummy content and let's publish this post and let's preview this post as you can see here the default categories is now fashion we didn't select any categories from here and when you publish the post the default categories is automatically fashion so depending upon what categories that you want to assign to your default post you can Go to your writings and select the default category that you want to use for your post. Now I'll show you how you can easily add those categories to the menu. So in order to add the menus go to appearance and click on menus. I've also made an in-depth tutorial on how to create menus in WordPress. I'll provide the link in the description below and you can check the tutorial for more in-depth guidance on creating menus in WordPress so in order to add the categories here you can find the categories tab here and you will see the list of categories that you have created on the view all tab you can see all the categories that you have created in case you have so many categories if you don't find the category you can also search the category name here so let's add the category travel in this menu so let's click here and once you are done just click on save menu and let's refresh our site so as you can see here we don't have the category travel here let's refresh here and you can see the travel category here so let's click on travel as you can see here here are the three articles that has been assigned travel category this is all about adding categories in wordpress if you haven't already added 
categories to your post please go ahead and start adding them i hope this tutorial was helpful if you find this tutorial useful please like the video and hit the subscribe button for more wordpress related tutorials if you have any question or just want to share any thoughts please feel free to let me know in the comments below